Hi, I'm Andrew Halloran. I'm the director of Chimpanzee Behavior and Care at Save the Chimps. And I wanted to talk about the introductions we've done with some of our new chimps. In this case, Tonka, Jacob, and Caleb. We had done behavioral assessments on these three chimps, and we thought they were all actually despite these histories, good candidates for going and, and meeting a, a group of chimps and living out on an island, uh, like the rest of our chimps at Save the Chimps. Um, so we first put them together, and they all got along really well. And then uh, we brought the three of them over to Doug's group. And we decided on Doug's group just because of the different personalities of Doug's group, uh, the population size, and kind of where we thought they might fit in the hierarchy. So when we, we do these introductions, and, and, and as you probably know, chimpanzee introductions can, can be a, a really tenuous thing. Chimps are very territorial, and they've got extremely tight-knit social groups, and sometimes it's hard to get into those social groups, especially for a chimp that doesn't have a lot of experience with other chimpanzees. And these three were, were definitely in that category. So, what we do to, to do these introductions is uh, we first kind of map out a strategy and we look at things like the social roles that everyone in the group has, like who might be the mediator, who's kind of the peacemaker, who's going to be your main aggressors, who are going to be, who are going to be in, in different alliances. Uh, so uh, this gets headed up by, um, by the curator. In this case, it was the curator of Section 3, Deanna Jenkins, and um, we mapped out a strategy to kind of put them on the island, get them used to the water barrier and things like that, because they didn't have any experience with water before. And then we started building the group. And basically, uh, we added different chimps strategically based on these social roles. And we kept kind of adding to that pot and I'm happy to say that uh, all three of them are completely integrated into that group. That's a group of 18. Um, so imagine the, the difference in their life that they now have. Uh, these chimps that were only in smaller cages or very confined with, with very limited social companionship now have a group of 18. So that's a lot of new friends, a lot of new companions, a lot of new uh, alliances to form, friendships to have, even fights to have, things that are important for a chimpanzee. And they have 24-hour access to be inside or outside, to be wherever they want. So as they've become integrated into that group, we're seeing new personalities emerge. We're seeing new personalities emerge with the three, and we're also seeing different group dynamics that, that have emerged in Doug's. By all accounts, uh, everything at Doug's is, is going pretty smoothly, and we're seeing these chimpanzees really kind of come out of their shell and show us the resilience that, that we usually see with chimps.